Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of Jira Tutorial Basics. In the last video, we talked about creating and editing Jira issues. Uh, we saw different issue types and card layout. We also created a sprint from backlog and started our first sprint. Today, we'll deep dive into understanding about fields in Jira. Fields are an integral part of creating issues and help us with the project planning, tracking, releasing, and reporting purposes. They also provide a lot of information about an issue. So let's get into understanding some of these fields. To do that, we'll start by creating a Jira issue. The first field that we come across while creating an issue is the summary. Summary usually describes what we are trying to achieve in that particular task. It helps to identify what the task is about at a very first glance. There might be several ways to write down the summary for an issue based on its type, but it makes more sense to the viewer if the summary is written in a user story format, which briefly answers the who, what, and why of a feature. The description field defines how we can achieve the objective that is outlined in the summary section above. We usually include a well-defined acceptance criteria while writing the description. This helps us define the definition of done, which is also validated by our QAs during the testing process. Now let's move on to the priority. As we create several tickets, we also need to categorize them in terms of its importance with the help of its business value, urgency, or the effort needed to complete that task. This is where priority setting comes in. Priority helps to identify the importance of that ticket and helps in planning or grooming our sprints. Zira comes with a set of default priorities such as highest, high, medium, low, and lowest. We can, however, customize these priorities as per our need. In LeapFrog, the priorities set are blocker, critical, major, medium, minor, and trivial. Assignee is the person responsible for undertaking a particular task. He or she is somebody who will need to make sure the functionality being developed meets the acceptance criteria defined in the description. Now, reporter is the one who requests for a particular issue or feature. At LeapFrog, reporters are usually the product owners, project managers, and QAs. Developers may also create issues based on the need. At LeapFrog, we usually make use of component fields for categorizing modules. Areas such as database, API, UI are some examples of components that help in categorizing the nature of tasks in terms of modules. But again, it depends on project to project for the need to categorize these modules accordingly. Using components in Jira helps in better visualization and reporting of the tasks by using filters. We will discuss how we can use filters to view components in later videos. Now, labels are basically keywords that help us group and find tickets. Anything from change requests, improvement, enhancements, and so on can be used as labels to identify the nature of the task or ticket. At LeapFrog, we can see many examples of labels used for change requirements. Any task that is completed for a production release should have a fixed version. Fixed version helps to identify in which production release the ticket has been deployed. We normally use standard release conventions such as 1.0.0 while adding or updating fixed versions, which should also be the same as your Git releases. Sometimes a ticket or an issue might be dependent on other tickets or issues. An API task may be a blocker to a UI task. A design component task may be related to other design tasks, which might also use the same component. Therefore, to identify these relations in Jira, we make use of the linked issues field to add such tickets underneath the object ticket. The beauty of Jira is, when such issues are linked, the subject issues will also have that issues linked automatically. When there are several user stories and tasks associated with an epic, we link those stories and tasks to an epic. For example, if a user login is an epic, all user stories associated with login will be linked to that epic. It only helps to visualize the tasks better and improves the tracking of the roadmap at an epic level. A story point is a relative measure of a user story which is based on complexity, volume, and the uncertainty associated with it. During the backlog grooming and sprint planning sessions, the development team uses poker planning technique to come up with a unanimously agreed story point for that task. For a given sprint, the sum of these story points will be the forecasted velocity that the team commits to undertake. Okay, I think we have discussed most of the important fills in Jira. And remember that you can also add custom fills based on your project need. But most importantly, you can use Jira fills to visualize, group, categorize, and report about your project effectively. 
I hope that you've learned about different fields in this session and hope that you'll use them more effectively in your projects from here on. Well, that's all for now, guys. Please don't forget to ask questions or give feedback in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video.